think I'm gonna go up and uh, get the quest before I <coughs> free him. Probably get some experience points if you do that. I think I jumped the gun. This wasn't the place I was supposed to go into. Nope, <laughs> that was the place. Uh, anyway, I cleared the room now, so I can just go free him when I get the quest. Doesn't really matter. Alright, alright. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Why do they include mini games? Freaking mini games. Johnson Stop Nash it. is my name. Husband to I'm a trader primarily. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. One of them packages. That job had strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, a chess piece, that kind of stuff. Lucky Last stuff. word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been a received horse for the uh, other five rabbit's jobs. foot. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. It's a little bit harsh. He yeah, takes his business this seriously. Look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No. Let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Hmm. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. I'm um, getting the feeling that this might turn out that maybe my character has amnesia later on. I really hope it's not that. I hope, kind of hope that I'm uh, a descendant of the original guy from Fallout 3, the one that supposedly, you know, did all this stuff, and uh, not some stupid amnesia. Uh, someone stole my package, a man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, <coughs> one of the townies was out scavenging for like a supply. Like the music. He said he saw <coughs> a fellow with a daisy suit a daisy come through suit. with some of them great con misfits. They was talking like about guy. a chip. That's why I'm gonna shoot him last. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. All right, so now you get the quest for uh, Prim's deputy. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, have a look. Let's see what he has for sale. First off, let's uh, sell some stuff. Uh, incinerator. No, I'm gonna keep that. It's pretty useful later on. A knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Uh, shotguns. You know what? I'm gonna keep the shotguns for rat scorpions. Stuff like that. I hate the Magnum. I really do. I hate it. But it 
it doesn't weigh that much, so I'm gonna keep it. Alright, let's see if I can sell some uh, leather armor. Trooper helmet. I'm actually gonna keep this one. See if I can uh, if I can find anything to repair it with. Combine those later on. Gecko meat. Get out of my inventory. Huh. That's good for shotguns. If it's a, uh, yeah, that, that's got to be a mod. Although it does look like a, it looks like a flaming cocktail. A flaming cocktail. All right. <laughs> Baseball. I need that coffee mug. Why did I loot that? Is my pistol in? Uh, 10 mil. Oh, damn. Mm. might actually come in handy. I'm gonna skip it for now. I'm gonna play with these uh, armor piercings and uh, hollow points later on. Alright. Except. Hey, Pleasure doing business with you. Time for me to go. Alright, let's go rescue the deputy. I kinda jumped the gun there and I went in here and kill all these. Oh yeah, this fun thing. Damn, that's a hefty amount of experience points. It would be so very. My good lady. I believe I may. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than. Set you free. Oh, that. Yeah. Do not. Get out of here. Yeah, let me... Oh, I can't. Why not? They look the same. <sighs> Filthy. Whatever. Whatever. Is there really such a difference between a cattleman and a cowboy? What was the other one called? A desperado cowboy hat. Hey there. Get into the damn hotel so I can ask you some questions. Well, that was quite breaking myself out. Problem is, there's still no law in print. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. 
I was skull, uh, performing skulking recall, around, gathering information on some of the powder gangers when some <sighs> great cons arrived with your Still friend. Still can't get over that name. Powder they were gangers. talking about some oh, they delivery they some took from the courier. I assume that was you. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Nipton to Novak. Hello again. Uh. Oh no, I'm just a deputy, and I can't. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone... I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. You will? That's just cool. marvelous. It's I'll start thinking quest. up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good my choice. Previous you also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. I could not get the NCR to take over the town. Any luck finding a s uh goodbye. Maybe Let's see here. What quests do I have? Uh, Novak Nipton, my kind of town. Beagle wants a sheriff of prison. Suggests an ex sheriff of NCRCF and the NCR's potential candidates. Alright, so let's talk to Lieutenant Hayes first. He's gonna send us to an outpost. Problem is, after that, the outpost needs something, but I couldn't help them out, so they couldn't sell send the. Uh, send the reinforcements for Lieutenant Hayes, so I was just stuck with the NCR. So I went ahead and um, freed that Myers guy. The hard way. I shot everyone. Actually, I think they wouldn't let me in, so I just shot him. <laughs> That's fallout for you. Yeah. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our <sighs> mission, much less take coffee. on defending this town as well. What do you need to take over protecting the what town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Ma'am. Alright, so I gotta get to the outpost. Which is... Way down here. Alright. Let's get to it. They could make life a little bit easier if they had just put a hole in the fence there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Why not? Instead, you have to either do this or go all the way around the town to get out on the highway. And this way is no fun because there are lots of ghouls up here. Actually, if I can... can snipe some I might gain a lot of experience points I think they give 50 some of them so it's not a complete waste of time if you can kill them no ghoulies Maybe they're not out during the day. That's the outpost up there. 